Hey, 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 Team HQ Sports, coming to you live from spring training. Just kidding. It's literally just snowing here in New York City, but it's your girl, Lauren Gambino. I'm here nonetheless, and I'm getting you through the hump by handing out some cash to the deserving sports fans who can go round for round with me tonight. We got March Madness on the brain here at HQ HQ. And after last night's amazing comeback by Duke against Louisville, I'm getting my bracket ready. We knew Duke would be a huge story this year, of course. But after being down by 23 points with nine minutes left of game time, they came back to win it. So it just makes me wonder. So we took to Twitter to ask, like we do before every game, at HQ Sports, that's where you could find us, is Duke a lock for the NCAA title? And hey, if you didn't get a chance to tweet about it, let me know in the chat right now. At M. Dixon 2003 says, Duke is not a lock. No one is. And if I had to pick Duke or the field, I'm taking the field. All right. At L. Scaper 48 said, maybe not a lock, but this game was definitely a wake-up call for them. They'll be there at the end, though. At Mike Wiz 60 says, a favorite? Yes. A lock? Nah. And don't sleep on Nova. Yeah, we know they've been hot. Ah, yes, anything can happen in the tournament. Favorites have been knocked out early before, so anything goes. And let's see what you guys were saying in the chat. Miles Rocket says, hell no! All right, I like it. As always, thanks for playing and for getting us warmed up for tonight's game. As usual, I'm taking you through 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. Get them all right, and you win a piece of our prize. Tonight, we are playing for $1,000. And of course, points for every question you answer correctly. And tonight, the points are on PEDs. Yes, every question is worth five times more than they normally are. It's legal, we were tested, I swear. The more points you earn, the quicker you can level up and earn those free passes, making it easier to win any game of HQ, HQ including the season finale jackpot. Let's check in and see where that jackpot is right now. Season 2 finale, $82,115, and that's only going to continue to grow with the more points that you earn, so keep that number going up. Hey, I know you heard about our NASCAR trivia game this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, but some of you are questioning if this should even be an HQ Sports game. Well, someone's got some words for you. I got a message for all the trolls out there that don't think NASCAR is a sport. Let's see you do it. Oh yeah, tell him, Bubba. Let's see you do it. Well, you can try. HQ Sports is going live before the Daytona 500 this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. It's NASCAR trivia. Let's see what you got. It's going to be a good one. All right, that about wraps up coaches' notes and pre-workout. Now it's game time. To the over 132,000 players joining me tonight, it's time to get off the bench and put the work in, because round number one starts right now. What is the name of the sport where players slide stones along the ice toward a target area? Straightening, perming, or curling? Not talking about hair here. We're talking about winter sports. What's your favorite? Tell us in the chat right now. And listen, it's basically the Winter Olympic version of shuffleboard. USA won gold last year with a team made up of a sporting goods salesman, a home appliance technician, a corrosion engineer, and a liquor store owner. It's curling! Never too late to become an Olympian. Curling is the answer here at round number one, 105,517. A lot of you are liking your hockey out there, but for this one, it's curling, and I'm sliding you round number two. Here it is. What skiing legend finished their career with a third place finish this weekend? Lindsey Vaughn, Michaela Schifrin, or Ingmar Stenmark? Man, I look up to this woman, and she was injured all too often during her career, but man, did she always come back. My favorite is when she duct taped the ski pole to her hand. Schifrin is still on the way up, and Stenmark was there to watch because he's an idol to this all-time great. There she is, Lindsey Vaughn, wrapped up her career with one final great race in Sweden this weekend. Lindsey Vaughn is the legend we were looking for here at round number two. 96,393 of you knew that one. Oh man, end of an era, but it's just the start of our game. Here's round number three. Who is the most recent number one overall NBA draft pick to be traded? Anthony Davis, Andrew Wiggins, or Markel Fultz? 
Man, this NBA trade season is bonkers! And it has given a new team, Orlando, a chance to try to unbreak Markel Fultz's shot. Philly brought an end to the Fultz era in a trade for a couple draft picks and one current player last Thursday. Markel Fultz, remember, went number one in 2017. 52,639 of you knew that one. Wow! Knocking out over 50,000 of you here only at round number three. Man, it's not disappointing to those of you who are moving on to round number four. Here it is. What player led MLB in stolen bases last year? D. Gordon, Whit Merrifield, or Trey Turner? We're looking for who led Major League Baseball in stolen bases. Spring training has started, and I just got my email from the New York Yankees this morning. Section 221, what up? Trey led the National League, but the MLB leader was Kansas City's Whit Merrifield, who has led the American League two years running. Whit Merrifield is the answer we were looking for here. 31,132 of you getting that one right, knocking out another 60,000 here, only at round number four. If you're using an extra life right now, that means you're stealing five I like it. It's fair. Round number five coming at you. Which of these is an actual team in the new alliance of American football? Springfield Strike Force, Birmingham Iron, or Daytona Surf? And I think if you say any of those team names with a little bit of force, they all sound like it. Hey, are you into it yet? Because week number two is this weekend. So why don't you pick a team? There's only eight of them. Let's see. We got the Atlanta Legends, the Memphis Express, Orlando Apollos, Arizona Hotshots, Salt Lake Stallions, San Antonio Commanders, San Diego Fleet, and last but not least, right here, we got the Birmingham Iron. Birmingham Iron is the team name that we were looking for. Well, is that going to be your team? We'll see. 59,234 of you knew that one as we make our way to our halfway point. It's round number six. Which of these players has not thrown 50 or more touchdowns in a season? Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, or Drew Brees? You're halfway there. Well, we know Brees is closing in on the all-time record for touchdown passes, but he hasn't racked up 50 in a single season. Not yet, at least. The only three to hit that mark are Brady, Manning, and this year's MVP, Pat Mahomes. Drew Brees is who we were looking for here. 37,443 of you getting that one right. Wow, now we have another 50,000 players at our halfway mark. We got a second half of the game left. Can you hang in there for the finish? It's round number seven, and hey, we're doing something very different on this one, so I need your eyes glued to the screen. Who scored this iconic Stanley Cup winning goal? Who scored that iconic Stanley Cup winning goal? Was it Ray Bork, Bobby Orr, or Phil Esposito? Yes, this is a new one for us at HQ Sports. What's it gonna be? And what you just saw was arguably the most famous goal in NHL history. And it was scored by a defender. Not just any defender. It's maybe the greatest of all time. Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr. He's the man we were looking for. 46,567 of you got that one right. 10,000 of you. You got to have your eyes glued, all right? Tell me what you think. You want to see more questions like that? Let us know in the chat as we move you on to round number eight. Which of these drivers won consecutive Indy 500 races? Al Unser, Bobby Unser, or Al Unser Jr.? Big race day this Sunday for NASCAR and for us here at HQ Sports, but right now we're talking IndyCar racing. Each of these Unsers won multiple Indy 500s, but only Al Sr. won them in back-to-back -back years in 70 and 71. Junior came close, winning in 92 and 94. Al Unser was the one we were looking for here. 15,836 of you are digging that, and you were also digging our last round. Oh yeah, we only got a couple more left turns to go here till we round to the finish. It's round number nine. The only sprinter to simultaneously hold 100, 200, and 400 meter world records ran for what country? USA, Jamaica, or Poland? 
Irina Shevinska dominated at three distances and won a total of seven medals for Poland. Usain Bolt holds the 100 and 200 records for Jamaica. Poland is the country that we were looking for for round number nine. 1,865 of you knew it here, knocking out 15,000 players here at round number nine. We only have three questions left. You know what that means. This pot is looking good. Round number 10 coming at you. What team ended the Celtics' run of 10 straight trips to the NBA Finals in the 60s? 76ers, Warriors, or Knicks? The final quarter team. Led by Hal Greer's 27.7 points per game in the playoffs, the Sixers stopped the greatest juggernaut in NBA history in 1967. The Sixers are who we were looking for here. 1,843 of you knew that one. The clock is winding down, team. We have two rounds to go. Can you hang with me for the finish? It's round number 11. Who is the youngest player ever to win the Stanley Cup, a World Cup championship, and Olympic gold? Wayne Gretzky, Jonathan Taves, or Mario Lemieux? This is where it matters most. Winners of the Stanley Cup, a world championship, and an Olympic gold are members of something called the Triple Gold Club. And no one got there faster than longtime Blackhawks captain Jonathan Taves. He got there at 22 years old. Jonathan Taves is who we were looking for here. 1,339 of you got that one right. And you know what? You're the lucky bunch moving on to the final round. It all comes down to this. Everything that you've worked so hard for in spring training, in team practices, the works. Are you going to kick off opening day with a big fat loss? Or are you going to be an all-star? Here it is, round 12. What team has played in its current city the longest without ever winning a World Series? Milwaukee Brewers, San Diego Padres, or Texas Rangers? It all comes down to this. And if you made it this far, hopefully you knew that none of them have won a World Series. The Rangers began life in Texas in 1972. The Brewers began in Seattle, but after one year, moved to Milwaukee for the 1970 season. The Padres have been in San Diego since 1969 and are 0-2 in the World Series, losing in 84 and 98. The San Diego Padres are the losers we were looking for here, but 490 of you who picked them are our new winners. Congratulations! Four hundred and ninety of you are our newest HQ Sports MVP. How does it feel? Pretty good, right? Yeah, looks like we're all taking home a prize of about two dollars and four cents. I know what you're gonna say, but it's two dollars and four cents more than you had fifteen minutes and thirty-five seconds ago. All right, B H G N. I see you there in the stripes, looking good. Harrison, you've already been a winner. Wow, I like it. Our, our Carl Jr. Out, out at Music Fest there? I don't know what that is, but hey, congrats. $2.04 is coming your way. And then, of course, I see a cute little golden retriever in what looks like a hat, and I just have to say that that is the cutest thing ever. Congrats to all of our winners. What an awesome game. Congrats again. You are our new HQ Sports MVPs. Hey. You got more sports knowledge that you want to show off? Well, you're in luck because we play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So I hope to see you then. But first, we also have a very special game coming up this week. Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, right before the Daytona 500, it is NASCAR Trivia. Yes, let's see what you got on that one. I hope you'll join me on Sunday. Now, I'm off to pick up AB and head to Tampa. He gets to meet with the Bucks. I get to check in on the Yankees. And we both get to ride in his super cool helicopter. I call that a win-win-win. Until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.